Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to find and locate all of the intel for the Cayo Perico heist, which includes your secondary targets like cash, gold and paintings, and your infiltration points, exfiltration points, compound infiltration points, and the points of interest. This intel will make sure that you get the most money that you can from this heist. So let's go and scope out the island. So when you first come to the island, make sure you follow the mission and do what it tells you to do. Eventually you're gonna get patched into the security cameras for El Rubio's main compound. This is where your primary target, the Madrazo files will be. And it also has some of your secondary targets like cash, paintings and gold. So this is pretty similar to the scope out mission for the casino heist. So essentially what you wanna do is check every camera Move the camera around as much as you can, cover all of its viewing angles and wherever a target or a point of interest is, it'll automatically mark it for you. Feel free to go ahead and copy all of the things I'm doing in the background footage. I let that play out and in the meantime, I'm going to go over some important things. Right, so the first thing is a rule of thumb for scoping out the island. Wherever there are guards means there's something that's being protected. So if you see a guard moving around, chances are probably something important or something that's of interest to you is around. Right, so the next thing is that your submarine driver, Pavel, will tell you there are three main parts of the island. Number one, El Rubio's compound. Second, the main dock and the north dock. What he doesn't tell you is about the hangar. So that's the airstrip that you land on when you come from Los Santos or go back to Los Santos from. So all four of these areas have loot in them and you want to scope all of them out. Next up, the DLC is very new. It's not even been 24 hours since it came out. So I wasn't able to use a wiki or a website or something to make this video. All of the intel that I found, I found on my own. So I've spent hours of my time on the island just running around, taking photos of random things and checking to see if they were anything of importance. And since I'm not perfect, I only found like 95, 98% of them. But I can guarantee you this. If you're planning to do the high solo or as a duo, this intel is more than enough when it comes to maximum take or approaches for the highs that you can take. There's nothing major you're missing out on. Maybe only one stash of cash or a pair of bolt cutters. Right, so once you've checked through all of the security cameras for the compound, you can exit that and make your way to the North Dock. So this is also a mandatory part of the scoping out. So the game will be guiding you here. Just come to this area, take a photo of the waterway and send that to Pavel. After you send him the photo, he's going to tell you it's a good infiltration point, but you're going to have to source a smaller vessel if you want to do the high from here. After that, he's going to tell you there's some loot lying around in one of the warehouses nearby and they're going to show you three warehouses with the yellow question marks on them. Just go to the warehouse I'm in right now and snap a photo. After you do that, he's going to tell you to look for something like bolt cutters so that you can get the loot silently. So just stroll outside and on the dock, there will be some barrels and and on one of those barrels, you guessed it, there's a bolt cutter. Snap a picture of the bolt cutters. I actually got caught by the guards while doing this. So you see the pink dot on the minimap? That's where some guard uniforms are. You don't have to get near to them since that's where a guard is. You can just stand back and take a picture from far away and it'll still count. After scoping out the north dock, you're free to go anywhere on the island. So our next destination is going to be this cluster on the map. And that cluster is the main dock of the island. The easiest way to get there is that after you pass the main checkpoint, you are going to take this route right here. And then once you're around that area, swim over to this screen. Once you're there, same thing as the North Dock, take a photo of the waterway that will mark it as an infiltration and exfiltration point. Right under the crane, there's some grappling equipment, so you want to take a photo of that. And then as you can see right here in this little warehouse, there is some cash. So you can go ahead, snap a picture of that and send that to Pavel, he'll mark it for you. And when you come back for the heist, you can steal it from right under their noses. 
Next up on the warehouse, just left of that, you will find some of the uh, green stuff. Same thing again, click a photo, send that to Pavel and you're good. Now this next position to take a photo from worked out so well for me, I wasn't expecting it at all. So I was just standing next to the crane, I thought there'd be some grappling equipment next to it and I took this photo right here and as it turns out, in the warehouse right in front of us, there are two stashes of secondary loot. I had totally overlooked them and I really just got lucky. So just keep snapping the same picture two or three times and that should be it for the main dock. So right about now your map should be looking something like this. But if you look to the right, there's some grappling equipment and that is where you're going next. So just sneak your way through to there. It's a pretty secluded area. You won't have any difficulty finding that equipment. So after you're done there, you're going to be going down south to another one of your infill exfil points. It looks something like this and the map position is here. Should not be difficult at all. Now that's it for the south part of the island. Now you're going to move up north. First up is going to be this jetty next to the pink dot right here. This is how the area looks in game. That's the map position. Again, very secluded, shouldn't be hard to find at all. Next, you're moving up even further north to another one of the infill exfil points. This is how it looks in game. And that's the map position. So you notice that triangle on the map that's out at sea and not on the island. That is a infiltration point using your submarine which is already there, so you don't have to do anything to find it. So you can now safely move on to the airstrip. And this is the fourth loot cluster that I was talking about earlier. So there's no need to go inside the hangar. You can, you can just stand at the entrance of the hangar, like where my player is right now, and turn around and snap a photo just like you did at the main dock. There's going to be two stashes of cash and a forklift in there. Now moving on to the control tower. This is the last thing that's mandatory to take a photo of before you can go back to Los Santos and complete the mission. So this will play an important role if you want to knock out the air defenses of the island. Since this is kind of where all of that is controlled from. So go ahead and take a photo of that. Next you're going to move to the village that's left of the control tower. You're going to find another one of these stashes in a warehouse right here. And then right next to it is the power station for the island. So you want to knock out the electricity of the island, this is the place to do it. So both the stash and the power station are going to be right next to the pilot who you can talk to to go back to Los Santos. And that's it. You can talk to your pilot, go back to Los Santos and when you head into your submarine, your board should look something like this. If you have any doubts, questions of any kind, feel free to ask. I'll make sure I put a link either in the description or in the pinned comment, either to a photo or a video to whatever intel I couldn't show you in this video. Alright, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Osmodrome and I'll see you in the next one.